Um, my name is Dr. Ellen Purser. I'm a chiropractor from Bozeman, Montana, and I'm practicing quantum neurology. The way I heard about quantum neurology is that I was taking uh, a seminar for a different technique that uses nutrition supplements, and a fellow student noticed that I was rubbing my wrist a lot because it was in pain and he offered to work on it and what he did was he told me quantum neurology and I was really impressed because he got rid of pain for a while in my wrist and I'd never, I hadn't had a pain-free wrist for a couple of years by that point. When I got home I told my husband who's also a chiropractor about the technique and he jumped in with both feet and so he's taken um, the first two twice and has taken one of the threes and then I started seeing the results he was getting and so now I have to come do it because it's such amazing, amazing results. For example, he had a woman just recently come in with a shoulder that she had very, very limited range of motion. And in the first treatment, um, the first time he did the, the treatment on her, he could he more than doubled the range of motion. She was absolutely thrilled. <laughs> By the end of the second visit, she has 100% range of motion in her shoulder, and she's so happy about it. She's telling everybody. In fact, the person that referred her, she texted her five times that first day to tell her, thank you for referring me to Dr. Jones. We practice in the same clinic, and that's the other thing, is I was, would be working on my, my patients, and um, I would have to call him in because I knew that he could help them, help advance them. And uh, especially when it comes to uh, working with the cranial nerves and sympathetic nervous system. And it was hard, he would never complain to me about it, but I'm sure it was difficult that I would keep interrupting his day. And plus my patients need to know who they're gonna get when they come in to see me, they ought to get me. And so it just became kind of a necessity to come and learn this, and I'm totally excited about it. I feel like this technique, it's like practicing a musical instrument. You go through scales. And I think module one and module two, a lot of it is you practice the scales, you get the basics down. And I'm starting to see it here in module two already. You're starting to play little melodies. You're starting to improvise with it. And I can just see it's gonna be a symphony. It's, it's really building up to that. Probably the most emotional response I've had from a patient was a girl who's now, she's 16 years old. She lived the first seven years of her life in, uh, in an orphanage in Russia. And it was really, really rough. I mean, she had a really tough life. Um, within a week, she was sleeping better than she has in her whole life, which gives her more energy. Her whole entire outlook has totally changed. And we have a young woman who is who came in, she initially presented as just being this very, very guarded, hyper alert, hyper aware young woman. And number one, she's, she's almost like a little girl now in that she's not afraid. She's, she's not hyper vigilant and she's having fun and she's joking and she's teasing. It's been just a really amazing experience. And she thinks I did the healing. Well, of course it was her body that did the healing, but it was fun to help facilitate that whole process. Being able to help patients on such a basic level. I think that the miracles we used to get with chiropractic are not possible anymore. Just with the, the changes in the environment, the changes in our food, our bodies don't respond. And you hear the BJ stories of, of all these miraculous recoveries. And then you go practice and you don't see this when you practice regular chiropractic. Now we're getting into the quantum neurology and you're starting to see those again. Oh, I can tell you another story. My husband came home from his first module and um, practiced cranial nerves. Well, I've been dyslexic my whole life, which has a lot of advantages, but some disadvantages that I couldn't read out loud. And, because uh, I don't see words in a sequential order. And he worked on me and we did cranial nerves and he did, and I was like, okay, well the next day, at church I was asked to read something aloud and I could read it and I thought that is the strangest thing and he asked me about it afterwards and then helped me to realize yeah that was because he had worked on cranial nerve too the day before and so things like that that is just fun it's exciting and those are the miracles that we're used to hearing about in chiropractic school but never see in our practice but they're happening now I decided months ago that when that when uh, Dr. Gonzalez started this series again that I was gonna jump into it 
yeah, it's just too exciting to pass up. I think any chiropractor really needs to have it because if you ignore the neurological aspect of the body, you're chasing symptoms, you're not really treating, you're not really rehabilitating a patient, and they get better with chiropractic without quantum neurology, but not at the same level and not at the same depth that when you introduce this, you get the miracles, you see it, you see it all the time, and, uh, and it's what we all went to chiropractic school for in the first place.